I'm an educator. I work in a career centre at a high school where a large proportion of the students are low income. Teachers and administrators seem to have a uniformly low expectation for a lot of these kids. The kids were expected to grab for low hanging fruit, to take somewhat less challenging courses, and to plan to study at the local programs that were easy to get into. I grew up in an immigrant family and my dad was a teacher but he couldn't um, teach here so instead he applied to be a dishwasher at a small restaurant in town and um, he didn't get the job so we ended up on social assistance. I remember the feeling of being embarrassed and shame for having that stigma associated with um, being on welfare. I looked around and I saw students who were very bright and who had a much greater capacity and who weren't being encouraged to reach that potential. So I set about to try and change that. I put a larger menu of options in front of them. I started letting them know about other programs and youth summits and workshops and just other ways that they could increase their ideas and broaden their networks and get a better picture of the big world that was out there. I think the big turning point for me was when I started playing basketball and I had amazing coaches that really taught me so much more than the technical parts of how to dribble a ball and how to shoot and play defense. They instilled in me and my teammates this belief that we could do anything that we wanted, that we could achieve anything in the world if we just put our minds to it. Sometimes it's letting students understand that you believe that they can do more and then also to help and mentor them to figure out how to get to that more. Being poor doesn't define who you are and it doesn't determine your path in life. 